Now let's talk about how to solve multi-step division problems. Here the question says, five test tubes of water can fill a beaker. Four beakers of water can fill a flask. Two flasks of water can fill a pot. And if a pot can hold one liter and 200 milliliters of water, how much can a test tube hold? So the first thing I'm going to do is put this into milliliters since our answer is going to have to be in milliliters. So I'm going to take one liter and 200 milliliters and knowing that one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters, I'm going to say this is equal to 1,200 milliliters. Now I'm going to set up the rest of my formulas. Straight from the problem I can see that five test tubes are equal to one beaker. I can also see that four beakers are equal to one flask and two flasks are equal to one pot and then one pot is equal to 1,200 milliliters. Now I want to go all the way back up to the top here and find out how many milliliters there are in one test tube. So I'm going to have to do some division. If one pot has 1,200 milliliters and there's two flasks in each pot, I'm going to have to take my 1,200 milliliters and divide by two. This will give me 600 milliliters, which is the volume of one flask. Now, to go from flask to beaker, since there are four beakers in one flask, I'm going to have to divide by four. So if I divide my 600 by four now, I'm going to get 150 milliliters in one beaker. Now to go from beaker to test tube, since there are five test tubes in one beaker, I'm going to divide this number by five. 150 divided by five is 30 and that's the amount of milliliters in one test tube. So I can fill in my answer as 30 milliliters, the amount that a test tube can hold.